Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Here we are on day two of Dance Taste of Summer. I'm so excited about this event. This is the foodie event weekend of the Hamptons. I'm here with Dan Retiner, the founder of Dance Paper. Is there any restaurant in particular this evening? We have over 40 that you're interested in sampling more than any other. Uh, I learned last night, judging the uh, uh, Grill Hampton event, that of the 16 uh, entrants that we all had to eat a course of their there were like five that I didn't know that were fabulous. Wow. So I am just excited to see what I can find. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. So go in there, have a good time, sample as many wines and as many restaurants as you can fathom. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I love the food on the east end of Long Island. So it's Yay. such a special treat and it's like in my backyard practically. Perfect. Yes, you do live here, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah, all year long. Well, we are so excited that you're hosting this for us this summer and uh, have a fabulous Thank time. You. I think that we have some of the best food in the world right here. As KB continued to work the parade of stars on the red carpet, Food fans pack into the big tent to taste some of the best dishes prepared by some of the top chefs on Long Island. Have you ever seen such a packed tent in your life? Four years ago, we had a, we had a dream. We were going to pull together the North and the South Forks. They said it couldn't be done. When the Hamptons are packed, what executive chef was going to leave his restaurant in the middle of the summer? Guess what? 42 restaurants, top tier restaurants, North and South Fork, all here tonight. This is an absolutely amazing event. There is incredible food, and this is a total to do. All the seafood is to die for, and the lobster salad over there is amazing. I got a free cigar. I mean, this place has everything from gin, wine, vodka, rum. What? I feel like I'm in a, a circus of food. The thing that's really cool about this event is they have the North Fork and the South Fork restaurants kind of competing a little bit, which I think is pretty cool. Looking forward to coming back next year for sure. Enough food to keep you going and enough liquor to keep you going. I mean, I saw some people doing ski shots with the Jager, Jägermeister over there. <laughs> We actually, and, and not only been surprised by a dish, we've been surprised that a lot more vendors have come out this year. Um, and people. And people. I love the oysters. There were several oyster dishes that really, you know, were do, like extra special. I went back for more. So a lot of things surprised me this year. I think they, they stepped it up a notch. We're thrilled to be here again. The meatballs were outrageous. The duck meatballs. She didn't tell me they were duck. But I ate it. It was delicious. Pulled pork. Pulled pork is fantastic. Fantastic. Rivals anything we have out west. The lobster gazpacho, the duck eclair, was unbelievable. I, I turned my nose up to it at first, and after I tasted it, it was really it was excellent. We're breaking every record every year. We just keep making it bigger and better. For our sponsors, they're just loving this. Really, if you're, if you're going to be in front of a crowd and a, a Hamptons audience that has the wherewithal and the means to to buy the kinds of products that we put here at Dance Taste of Two Forks, this is the place to be. We make it happen every year.